hello guys welcome to my channel so on today's video i'm going to be sharing something very important with you i received this video of simo de blay also known in english as simo simolina i think it's wheat flour i received the video and i was kind of happy that oh the video i saw the uh, the type of uh, semolina i have doesn't have that same mark i was like no it's different but something told me that no just go ahead and try the test and see if what you have at home is also does the same thing or comes out like plastic and stuff like that so i went ahead and i did the same thing and guys you'll be surprised at what i saw so this is the mark of what i own i'm going to be putting the original video the video i saw before making this video i'll put the video somewhere or i'll put it at the end of this video so you get to watch it also but that's this my this mark called legumor legumor isn't inside the video so i'm calling on you watching this video that after watching this Go ahead and check what you have if you have any type of wheat flour or semolina in your house. What I'm showing you right now is my corn flour, also known as farine de maize. I wanted to do the test on the semolina and on corn flour so we can see the differences. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour some of the semolina in the cup where i'm going to wet it with some water i put this much and i'm just adding some water inside mixing it mix it very well i added cold water inside let me or let me say room temperature water not hot water i just put normal temperature water so this is what it looks like what i will do is that i'm going to sieve it i tried I tried this test, that's why you see my sieve this dirty. I tried it off camera. I noticed I had the same problem, that's why I decided to make this video so as to tell everyone to be on alert. This is the second time I'm doing it. I did it the first time and I decided to make a video so as to put it out there for other people to try it out. So right now I'm going to try to wash the semolina. We all know if it is good semolina, it's going to go through the sieve, like everything is supposed to go through. If it is bad one, you are going to see what is going to remain. So stay tuned and watch till the end. So after watching the semolina for some minutes, almost like five minutes, this is what I had. It came out thick, rubbery, actually even sticky, it like exactly like plastic. The texture isn't good at all. As you can see, I'm trying to burn the semolina out to see how it turns out and it's burning exactly like plastic you know when you're burning a plastic paper the sound it does and the scent it's exactly the same it smells like plastic you can see it even draws just like plastic i decided to try the second time and this is how it looks like i can't even lie this is exactly plastic 
this is plastic paper it's plastic guys there's nothing anyone can tell me about this ça c'est du plastique je vous jure just look at how hard the surface is look at how hard the burnt surface is is isn't this plastic tell me this is how hard it is look at just look at guys now i'm trying the same experiment on my corn flour la farine de maïs and like i said if it's good one it's normally supposed to go through the sieve like everything is supposed to pass through the sieve every single thing is supposed to go through if there's anything that's supposed to be left out it's supposed to be dirt or maybe big grains are not something sticky or looking like plastic so i'm pouring some of my corn flour in the cup just like what i did with the semolina or the semu de bledure i'm doing the same test Adding some water inside, just like what I did with the semolina, or mix it well. Look at what the semolina has done to my sieve. It is stopped. It can't even come out. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm trying to heat it to clear it out, to take everything off my sieve, but it's really difficult. Now I'm pouring my corn flour into my sieve. And as you can see, everything is going through. As you can see, the corn has passed through the sieve. Everything went down, which means it's good. Like I told you from the beginning of this video, if the semolina was good, everything should have passed through the sieve just like the corn flour did. So I'm calling on you watching this video. If you consume any form of semolina, quickly go and check to make sure what you're eating is good quality and doesn't look like this trust me this is what causes cancer when you eat things like this you don't digest and at the end of the day it gives us illnesses some type of illnesses that we don't even know this is what i have this is the mic i have take note take a good look and check what you have at home just be careful what you buy we can buy good health so we have to take good care of what we eat please share this video with everyone you know your friends your family everybody 